Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have a quick tip on color and using gradients today. So let's make a new material and under the color, under texture, let's add a gradient. Let's go into that gradient and let's take a look at these knots and how we can add custom colors. So under gradient, we have a little triangle here. It's kind of easy to miss, but if you click that and twirl it down, you're gonna have all these different options for color. If you can't access that because it's grayed out, that means you don't have one of your knots selected, so everything's grayed out. Make sure you click on one of your knots and then you'll be able to access everything. So there's all these different ways of picking color, and one way that I like to do it is to use this pound sign, and then you have the, uh, the number for your color. And then if you're using something like Adobe Cooler, you can find that number right here. So Adobe Cooler is a great way. You can uh, search different color swatches, monochromatic, triad, complementary. It's a great way to find uh, really, really nice uh, color swatches. So let's say that we want to take something like this. And um, let's bring this over to Cinema 4D. So here's the first uh, code right here. We're going to copy that and we'll go back to Cinema 4D and we're going to input it right here. And that's going to change our knot. Now we have to do that for every single color. So we make a new knot and then we'll go back and copy and paste. So you can see that it's a bit annoying, right? So there's a much quicker way and it has to do with this icon right here. And if we hover over it, it says color from picture. And if we click on that, we can load up a picture. So what we're gonna do is really quickly just take a screen capture of this swatch. I'm gonna save that out here. And then all we have to do is go into Cinema 4D and under this file path, we're gonna load that up. And you'll see that we have this color swatch now and we have this little target icon. If we click and drag this around, you can see that we're picking the color from this image. So the great thing is that just by holding control and clicking, you can make multiple targets. And as I click these, you'll notice that right here we have a bunch of different uh, samples from this swatch. All right, so it's not affecting our gradient here in the knots. So how do we get all of our selections to go up to the gradient? Super easy, just click on them and then hold down shift and click on all of them. And then all you have to do is click and drag up and let go on this gradient. And now we have all of them up here. Now all you have to do is change it from smooth to step and then you'll notice that we're missing one color at the end here. Just grab this little orange slider on the end and drag it in until we get that new color. And there you go. Just like that, with a few clicks, we have that, that color swatch saved out. Then you can just go down here and go to Save Preset. You can name that Cooler, whatever your uh, preset is, and hit OK. And now if you ever want to access that gradient again, it will be in your presets. You can just click Load Preset, and it'll be right here. So we have Cooler 3 right here. And then you'll be able to load it up, and you'll have your gradient very easily. So as you can see, that's a super fast way to bring in your colors and select them really quickly. Hope you guys found that useful. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.